From KETK News, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back and happy Thursday. Joining us now is Nacogdoches Pediatric Extended Care. They're going to tell us about how they serve children right here in East Texas. We've got Miranda Gray and Maria Martinez joining us now. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So what is prescribed pediatric extended care? So um, it stands for Physician Prescribed Extended Care. Um, it's basically saying that for attendance here, you have to have um, a physician's prescription for attendance, um, and that's one of the requirements. So basically a daycare for medically fragile children. So when we say medically fragile children, how do you know if your child qualifies for admission here? One of the first things we explain to parents um, is if they already qualify for private duty nursing in their home setting, that they would more than likely uh, qualify for our services as well. Um, and the final um, decision, of course, is made by um, Medicaid and their insurance. Uh, we have to send all the information to them and request approval for their admission. What's kind of an advantage of going to you guys versus kind of the at-home care that you're mentioning? Basically, they get the social interaction. That's a big part of it. They get to the social interaction with other kiddos. They get to come. You know, it's a, a different ambiance from what they have at home. And we do activities with them. We, you know, do arts and crafts, which parents love, of course. And they get the skilled nursing throughout the whole entire day as well. And it allows the parents to go back into the workforce um, and it gives the family more uh, normalcy. For sure, we're all looking to get back to normal, whatever that looks like. Speaking of which, yeah. obviously many businesses have kind of just had to change how they do their everyday operations because of the COVID-19 pandemic. What state steps are you guys taking out there to keep everyone safe and healthy and all that stuff? Yes, ma'am. Well, we stay up to date on the current regulations as they're brought out. Um, we communicate with CDC, with our medical um, director. Um, and right now, like most businesses are, we're checking temperatures um, at the door, uh, going over a list of symptoms, uh, wearing our masks during interaction with the children at all times. Social distancing as yes. well. Uh, we're taking all precautions possible. Yes, ma'am. When it comes to not only your health, but your child's health. I mean, I, I feel like parents would pay pretty much anything, but it does come down to a bill eventually. Uh, who pays for PPEC services and uh, will these parents that are looking to work with you guys receive a bill? Um, and we, of course, uh, explain that to the parents in the beginning that they will never receive a bill from us. We do accept private insurance and Medicaid, all forms of Medicaid as well. So it's paid through them. Last question for you ladies. What are the steps in the admission process for anyone listening at home that's interested? Um, they can, of course, call our office. Uh, they can come and tour um, our facility. Um, we just have them reach out to their physician or we can as well with their permission to request an official referral uh, from their prescribing physician. We fill out a release of information request. Where we can ask for all the information from their physician, specialist, and that helps with um, uh, setting off for approval. Thank you, ladies, for joining us and answering those questions. Hope you all have a great rest of the week.